All right, so we're back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. This one, uh, as you can see in front of you and from the title, if you didn't see it already, they just announced all of the reprint slash uh, updated, which I guess in Dokkan terms, if you play that, since this used to be a Dokkan channel, uh, like a rebirth, right? Uh, I, would, I would say that's probably the best way to, to put this. Look at it. We have Beerus. We have... Hit, we have Gohan, we have Metacooler, and we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I don't know if that's the best decision. I don't know how many people actually voted for that, but I'm curious to see what you guys are um, thinking. You know, I, I want to see what kind of comments or what kind of uh, ideas you have for the newly created skills and arts. Because as you can see, they're going to update the art, they're going to do the new skills all in Series 9, which, if you didn't know, you know, we do have uh, Series 8 released on November 22nd, and I think, I think, don't call me on this, because they, they have the deadline coming soon and whatever, and the pre-orders or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that Series 9, according to the timeline, is going to be January. So we're going to see all of these, I would imagine, as rare rares or like a different, like, ISR, I, I, don't, I don't know, it could be the campaign rares, who knows? Uh, it could be normal leaders, it, it just could be an uncommon leader, who, who really knows? Um... But I'm curious to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below what which one is your favorite. Who did you vote for, if any? If there's any missing, and what do you think the new skills are? Any of the above? Because I'm very, very curious of what to what we'll hear from you guys. Basically, personally, I would like to see androids back on here. I think the current leader is okay. I don't think it's anything like Kit, where it's just completely useless, <laughs> or at least next to useless. Like, why would you play this leader versus another? Um, Android 17 and 18 at least has a very unique skill trait where, you know, it reduces everybody by one, uh, that sort of thing. So I think it's okay. Soul Striker is another one that people didn't, uh, that people wanted. And there's a, there's a number of leaders that we could remake, but honestly, these this is a good choice. These are really good choices. Honestly, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing what Hit looks like in the future. Which kind of brings me to the next thing, which is the whole point of the video. Uh, I took some time to kind of look through uh, all the leaders and, and give my own sort of <laughs> design perspective, which I'm not a designer. I'm going to be real with you. I, I enjoy the game. I play it. Uh, I like to report on it, that sort of thing, but designing, it's not my thing. So these is, I, I, I'm going to go through them. Let's, let's just go through them. And basically this is the, the whole premise of this and all, and all the skills are basically to, to make all of these leaders competitive or at least viable into, okay, I want to play this because it has a unique skill or something that is specified to this leader and archetype. Starting with Beerus. I have him on the unawakened side, of course, the 10k and 15k leader for Awaken, that he draws one when attacking a leader card only, right? His activate main is sa it says, okay, just listen, <laughs> if you have two or more energy, you pay one blue energy you pitch one card and you place the top card of your deck into the energy in a rest mode. Okay, so the whole concept of this is because Beerus wants to ramp, yes. Um, it, I will tell you the Awakened side does not no, does no longer has the 16 and win the game. I think that would be a little too busted. I think putting the blue energy and as well as all of the ramp stuff and the blue... Uh, ramp stuff like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, like Gogeta, everything else like that with Beerus would be really good. The other part of that is that uh, if you notice in the new Whis card uh, that got revealed, the one drop, if I can put on up on here, I will. Um, it is a red card. It is. It does say Beerus. And it probably does. Uh, it, it, that was probably a hint to us that in Series 9, we're going to go ahead and get some more Beerus support or at least a new leader, which we are. Now, I would say that the blue energy, well, it could be red energy as well, but I think blue energy is probably good. So that way the red, blue uh, multicolors would be uh, uh, workable in it as well. The other part of this is that uh, because is going in a rest mode it's sort of like a built-in objection but slightly worse the thing about it is that uh you do require that re that blue energy after two energy so you'll have that one up and it'll force you not to play anything else plus you're uh pitching a card and reducing your hand advantage so it's not as good yes you are swinging to attack a leader card but that's uh, accelerating the game that's the whole point of swinging to leader cards in general and force them to awaken later and force you to kind of keep up with that the next turn you'll be charging the uh, four, and at that point it's the same thing as objection, uh, just that you don't get that extra energy right then and there. I think yes, 
I think objection in in general um, is a little busted, but as long as they, I, I don't know, I think in rest mode and as well as the top card in your deck is sort of like a uh, RNG type thing, like you could charge a black, you can charge a red, you can charge a blue, and it'll force you to, to play that blue archetype. I don't know, I think that would be pretty cool. I think that would be the first activate main, the second activate main would be uh, 5k or less and KO it choose 5k or less KO it. Some people are saying, you know, maybe he can ignore barrier. Maybe he can do two or less and ignore barrier. But honestly, I don't think that's needed. I think 5k or less uh, is going to cover a lot more, uh, not on an energy restriction basis. And that's just me. His awaken is untapped, draw one. And then uh, the activate main for the other side is uh, KO 15 or less. So here's the thing that covers a lot. And if you want to nerf him just a little bit, 10k or less can be a little bit better to um, control the board. But if, when you think about it, the the current one is three three or less energy, and I feel like that covers more than 15k or less. The reason for 15k or less is because you'll be playing red, and there are red cards that reduce um, the costs in which you know you can KO more things, and I feel like you will get more creativity out of it. Uh, his uh, awakened leader or the awakened effect would be. Uh, draw one when attacking anything and then at the end of the turn if you have more energy than your opponent you draw one card at the end of the turn and that's it uh, you don't get you don't get anything else the the thing about it is that you sort of um, pitch your cards and then the early uh, the early game basically unawakened uh, ramp to whatever you need to and then pretty much defend and play out your your bombs and that's pretty much it I think Beerus would be a pretty cool leader. Uh, he will stay a red, or a blue leader, not a red blue. Some of the uh, I've seen other ideas of like people saying some of these could be like red yellow for Hit or blue red for uh, Beerus or Goku or red yellow for Cooler. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. But that's just me. All right, moving on to the next one. Since I'm t taking forever for him, uh, for Hit, I'm thinking that he should take one life. Uh, add it to hand and then reduce the energy cost of the U universe six cards in your hand for the duration of turn by one And then when he attacks a leader card draw one this will kind of be similar to 17 and 18 But you're taking a life as in like the whole universe six archetype where they're all together and you can play more universe six cards I think this also like you can only play so much with so much energy uh, within the earlier turns, and when you take life, and when they're trying to take uh, take your life on that point or at that point, you can only play so much as, as far as that goes too. So, as that's kind of the idea for that, and he is an untapped two leader in which the uh, the the leader effect will carry over since it is for the duration in turn. So you can untap two and then play some more stuff right after. He could also be like. Uh, Universe 6 has no specif unspecified cost. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe not even the take life and reduce one by uh, Universe 6 card by one. I don't know. That could be a really cool thing uh, since we do have all the Universe uh, 7 leaders, but it also could be a little too strong. <laughs> the other side, the awakened side, is place one Universe 6 card with two costs or more in the battle area and then drop or into the drop. And this card, the leader card, gains critical and 5k for the racing turn. And then you also draw one when attacking. So uh, I think that would be pretty cool. It also is part of the archetype in which, uh, again, you're using Universe 6 and the universe coming together to do more things. And Critical is really good for hit because he is the type of person, or in the show, like he hits vital uh, critical points basically to take out the opponent. I think that would kind of put towards the archetype or uh, feed towards the archetype. Plus it is two or more, which you, you want to use the, the previous effect. And if you don't use the previous effect, then you are punished by card casting who whatever you you have as far as the two costs or more uh in the battle area i think the only issue is that uh, a lot of the universe six cards right now are uh yellow uh so this might not work too well with a red leader uh, but there are red cards that are universe six like the new um Khalif or the the new kale uh the old Khalifla, etc anyway moving on father son kamehameha i love gohan i don't know how to how to fix this guy <laughs> i mean i think he's still an uh, a pretty cool archetype in the first place but yeah, that's just me. I have him uh, unawakened, draw one when he attacks, uh, I think anything, no, a uh, leader card. And then his permanent, this is weird, but the, the stay, stay with me, is that if you, there is a Sun Goku in your, your uh, energy area and you have two or more energy, this gains uh, 5k during your turn. So during your turn, it is a 15k leader and when it swings, you draw one. It's just like Universe 7. I wanted to do both turns, but I think a permanent bean probably isn't that, that great because we do have so many Son Goku cards. Uh, he has an untapped, draw one. 
uh, untap one, draw one, and then draw when attacks. And then his instead of activating main and gaining triple strike and uh, removing all cards from the drop area from the game, it is um, activate battle. You can't lose. The opponent can't win. Um, you place all the cards in your life to drop, and it gains triple strike and five card for each Sun Goku in your drop. So I think uh, as an all-out attack, basically as a triple strike to keep the sort the sort of theme going on here for Son Goku and as well as uh, Gohan, and to keep the triple strike, I think that would be really cool. Um, obviously, activate battle is so much better. Or uh, well, I'm sorry, it is already activate battle. I'm so I'm so stupid. I, I thought it was activate main, but activate battle is in general pretty still pretty cool. I think if they remove the life. Uh, and then add all of the Sun Goku's uh, from drop to 5k and boost it. That'd be better than uh, 5k and triple strike just for the duration. But yeah. And the boy Meta Cooler. Shout out to Adis. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know about this one either. But I gave him the burst mechanic in which activate main on the unawakened side. Of course, draw one attack leader. You already know. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't think I, he should. I think uh, his activate main should be burst two. And then if there is a metal cooler with a cost of two in drop, play one. And then if you do, draw one card. Cool, right? Is is that cool? I don't know. Maybe. And then he's a draw two leader, not untap leader. Uh, and then uh, attack and draw one on the on the awakened side. And then his other activate main is if you place a card from life to drop, all coolers in your battle area and leader area gain 5k in critical. If you remember the, um, I think it's the three or four cost uh, meta cooler. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a meta cooler in which you play it and then all the meta coolers on the field gain double strike. I think that would be incredibly cool. <laughs> I think uh, just as a slightly better aggro type thing going on uh, and you can kind of use the uh, the meta cooler SR and all the other ones uh, along with it. I think overall it would be a kind of a cool thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the best one. All of these are kind of spitballing. And then for the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I don't know. I'm going to leave that to you guys. Honestly, if you if you know the best bet for him, uh, if it's untap only blue energy, if it's untap one at the end of the energy, is it awaken at two? Is it... Um, I don't know. Honestly, I really, 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 really do not know. Uh, they got to be careful with this one. I hope they don't just like copy and paste type thing and call it a day. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I also uh, went into the Discord and told everybody, hey, place your guesses and I'll include them in the video. Uh, Ken said video for what? Um, Ken, you got to be better than this. Come on now. <laughs> Hi, Ping Pong. Uh, says hit negates counters as well as blockers. I'd be kind of busted. It needs a it needs a specified like um, cost, like crit, crit life or something like that, just like uh, Gogeta or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe it could it could do that. It could do that. Gohan gains victory strike instead. I don't think that's gonna be good at all. I don't agree with that. <laughs> no power boost. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good. Uh, all right. Uh, Super Saiyan three is not gonna be unbanned. Don't worry about that. Bear is awakening clause uh, gets changed to three or more energy, and then. Um, the KO effects become KO. Well, I mean, I would say, yeah, that'd be pretty good. I, w I would say that's pretty good. I feel like, you know, when I, it, like the ones that I put out, usually when, when they create a leader, they create an answer for something within the format here and there. Or like if it's, you know, for, for this, like KO becomes KO or less than the amount of energy you have ignoring barrier would answer a lot of, um, like apes, the, the, the red, green, red, yellow ape stuff going on or red, blue. Um, or high to mastery or whatever that has barrier that requires it on the field. So I think it would be pretty cool to have that. I don't know if it's needed, if anything. And then we have uh, cooler functioning tags to work with. Well, I mean, I would say that's the first thing they have to do. An announcer once per game that gives all um, a meta coolers a 5k. I think that would be pretty cool too. I, I think that's not a bad idea. And then my guess uh, for Adrian is um, dual colors in set nine. I think I'm pretty sure one of these is going to be dual color. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. Super Saiyan three, but only more broken. Untaps blue, um, untaps one of a, each color of energy becomes a multicolor. Eh, I don't know about that. Neo says Beerus may become a deck that has a, a waking condition that gives him energy instead of untapping. I was also thinking about this uh, in which you awaken and then. Um, you don't untap or anything like that, but you uh, put the two top, the top two cards of your deck into your energy uh, in active mode, and then just go from there. I think I don't think it really needs anything else. Just you know, 
can't do it for the rest of the game unless hit does it like you hit hit flips your leader back over and then you do it again so I could that could be a thing um Medical Lyra would be draw on both sides, keeping their character name. Yep, of course. Uh, draw one, untap one, and then play a Medical Lyra from drop, and then flip this color, color uh, this card over. I mean, yeah, okay, it could be, could be. Um, hit could be more focused on battle card killing. Pre awakens 5k plus, and draw and swing. And the back, back card is place one card from the hand to drop, and you get all blockers for the race and turn. Um, one to kill a mini, ignoring barrier. Okay, all right. Be classic fate Goku on attack. I was thinking about this too. Like if you have a Goku and drop, gain 5k and then otherwise draw one. Activate main could be activate battle. Uh, same condition, place all the cards. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, that's that's cool then. Uh, we had the same idea then. All right, this card gains 20k. Oh, whoa, 20k for each card. That's a lot. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not the same idea. Super Saiyan 3 Goku more, be more passive. Uh, Soul Striker energy at the end of the turn guaranteed. And then more spicy fronts would be once per game. Uh, place two cards in the drop area, and then if you have opponent has three or more life, place play one card for an attack and energy active mode. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know because it, it's going to be a conditional thing. You can pretty much do that. Well, I guess if you do it once, you resolve it once. It's not going to be bad. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, everybody is kind of discussing everything from there. Uh, Avalanche being salty with no 17 to 18 leader. Overall, uh, I called this before. If you didn't see the, the video from way before, I did say that Super Saiyan 3 is most likely to come back with a different uh, effect. I was guessing what that was. If you want to go check that out, uh, since I didn't give one here, you can go check that out. It's pretty, it's still pretty relevant as far as that goes. If, you, if anything, let me know what you think in the comments below. I've talked enough, a lot, <laughs> for something so little. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you for subscribing. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't know what I'm doing with my voice. Later.